Hey everyone, thanks for watching. So today I'll be showing you how to get this super organized art wall using a giant pegboard. And here's what you will need. First I have some white and gold spray paint. This curtain rod that I got at Lowe's. All of this was super cheap and it will be on the bottom bar with prices. I got these little buckets and jars and organizers from Target in the dollar section. I also got this roll of magnetic strip down here <laughs> and these pens, these baskets to organize my files, a shelf, and then this giant pegboard, which that's just the size in case y'all wanted to know. So the first thing you want to do is organize all your stuff. This way your working space is a lot more clean and organized. So depending on what kind of stuff you have depends on what organizing things you need. So these are just some inspiration and ideas. The first thing I'm going to do is spray paint these brackets that I'll be using for my shelf. And you spray from left to right. Left and to then right. back to left. Okay. Okay, so demonstrate this. Oh. I don't know Wait, about that. I don't know. I don't know. Too hard. Wait, I'm can you move that newspaper? Anymore. It's in the back. I'm not spray paint anymore. Are you kidding me? You can't spray paint this. Not one drop <laughs> got on there. <laughs> so what do you think it went? Do it over here. Do it in Dad's garage. Come on. Let's go. So once you find your spot for spray painting, you're going to spray paint your brackets whatever color theme you want it to go with, or you can just leave them how you want and totally skip this step, but I did want everything to match. And this is how the shelf looked once I was finished. And now the next step is measuring your wall for the space you want the pegboard to be so you can go in and cut it perfectly custom fit for your wall. And using whatever type of tool or saw you may have, you're going to go ahead and cut your line. You can totally skip this step if you want, but I did want to have the shelves next to the board, so that's why I did have to get it cut a little smaller. But it's a lot easier to just keep it one big size and if you have a big wall it's perfect because you can just change it up and always add things to the board as you go along. The next step is painting the board which is also an optional step but obviously I didn't want a big brown board on my wall so we found some leftover white paint that we had from our house and that is what we are using to paint it. We did try space space we did try spray painting it but it was going to take about four bottles and that is totally ridiculous i didn't want to have to wait and let it dry in between each coat so we just went ahead and did the old-fashioned paint and roller and this is how it looks all hung up on my wall beautifully you can use any type of hanging material but you do want to have some type of spacer behind it that way when you hook your hooks into it it doesn't hit the wall there's space and room for you to stick them in there so this is just me decorating the pegboard to kind of give you some ideas I did have to move some things around as I went but as you go everything just kind of comes together I used these little wood sticks from Lowe's to hang my rolls of paper. It was a really inexpensive alternative to buying a bunch of curtain rods instead. And I also got a big pack of these pegboard hooks from Lowe's as well. I wanted to show you all this idea because I loved it. Using the magnetic strip or these um, little square ones that I had left over, I'm going to stick it on top of this roll of ribbon that I had and then stick the other side onto this shelf and it's a perfect little way to organize your ribbons just so they're right there, always accessible and they look super cute. So that is it for my craft wall. I hope you guys got some inspiration and ideas from it. You can use it for more than just art supplies. You can use it for hair stuff and makeup stuff and whatever you may need to organize. As I said, everything is listed down below if you wanted to use exactly what I did. And I did zoom in so you can see exactly how I had it organized. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.